Hello everybody, this is The Exception, and welcome to round one of the playoffs for season four of the NPA. This week, myself and Tampa Luxuries will be taking on Papa C and the New York Clinks. So down below, you'll see his team and the team that I'm bringing. Uh, I do want to go ahead and apologize ahead of time for this being a post-com. Sometime between recording uh, my test video and then the match, my microphone broke, and uh, so there was no audio recorded for the uh, live com, which really sucks because I was happy with the video and happy with the match. I felt like it was a really good match, and uh, so it really sucks that I have to record this post com. I'm also going to apologize for the possible echoing off the walls. The uh, webcam mic isn't really made for handling all that, but I'll try to talk softly so there's not as much echoing. We'll jump into my team real quick, and then we'll jump into the match uh, since we have time for that now. So uh, for me, I'm running a uh, Chapelberry Snorlax, Giga Impact, Gunk Shot, Body Slam, and Flamethrower. This Snorlax is to serve a few different purposes. Uh, basically, number one, it's to take out Fortress. That's number one. Uh, Tapu Fini, uh, plus Absol or Toxicroak. Uh, so the plan is going to be to lead with Snorlax and hit Body Slam turn one. Nothing on his team wants to take a Body Slam except for Trevenant. And Trevenant really doesn't want to come in because Snorlax could curse up on it, it could go for a crunch. Really just not the best play to go into Trevenant in my opinion because I can do so much to Trevenant and he can't really do much back. So basically I think he's going to go into Finny or he will go into Fortress. After I hit Body Slam, the Sturdy will be broken on the Fortress or Finny will be down 30%-ish. Uh, and at that point, I can go for a Gunk Shot, which may kill Tapu Fini. There's a good chance, depending on his spread, that uh, Gunk Shot would kill him. So that's a great, great plan there. The second plan, which I'm really hoping for, is to kill Fortress. He brings it in, breaks the Sturdy, hit Flamethrower, kill Fortress before it sets up rocks. Now, I have put in enough investment into Snorlax. It's negative speed nature with 12 EVs, because if he runs no speed Fortress then this will actually outspeed it and I can get the flamethrower off before he sets up rocks. And that would be amazing because rocks kind of hurt my team. Not a whole bunch, but enough to where it gets annoying throughout the match. Um, and then I have Choppleberry for Absol and Toxicroak, neither of which he brought. But if he had brought them, uh, basically he gets Snorlax down to 50%. I kill Fortress or Fenny. He brings in Absol or Toxicroak thinking he can kill me with a Drain Punch or Superpower. Neither of them will do over 30 to 40% to me. I can hit Giga Impact on them, and Giga Impact will kill both of them. Uh, so, great plan, uh, but wasn't able to execute that just because the Mons didn't show up. Anyways, next we got Pelipper. Pelipper is going to be Choice Specs with Hydro Pump, Hurricane, Ice Beam, and U-Turn. Throughout the season, I have brought Drizzle and I have brought Pelipper as sort of like a, a utility mon. It really hasn't done that much. So for this match in the playoffs, I thought maybe I could catch him off guard with Choice Specs uh, Hurricane, because that will two-shot everything on his team except for like an AV Gudra, or if he has maybe a Flying Berry on Trevenant. But either way, Hurricane two shots, and that does so much damage. So if I can catch him off guard, maybe I, I bring Pelipper in on Tapu Fini, Trevenant, Fortress, uh, or maybe no speed uh, Toxicroak, which probably wouldn't do, but if I knew he didn't have any speed investment or something, I could bring in Pelipper, hit Hurricane on it, and then kill something, or two-shot something even. Uh, so just catching him off guard with that would be great. I have uh, Hydro Pump, Hydro Pump, two shots, or I'm sorry, Hydro Pump Oko's Tornadus, in the rain. So if I think he's going to switch in on me, try to you know get some momentum or something, bring it in on a U-turn, and then he can U-turn me back or whatever, then I can go for a Choice Specs Hydro Pump, kill it, and that would be great. The Ice Beam is there for Gudra. Gudra, like I said, if it's AV, it doesn't get two shot by Hurricane, but it should get two shot by Ice Beam if I did my calcs correct. And then U-turn for momentum if I think he's going to switch, or if I don't think Hurricane is going to catch him off guard enough. I can just U-turn out. Most of the time, I'm just going to be hitting Hurricane or U-turn with Pelipper, and that's that. Uh, the next Pokemon is going to be Kingdra. I have Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Bounce, and Outrage. I, I struggled between running Physical and Special Kingdra this week because Tapu Fini walls them both. But the problem is all of my Rain Sweepers are walled by Tapu Fini. So 
if I'm going to bring rain, which I kind of feel like I have to, then I have to take care of Finny before I can bring in a rain sweeper, because otherwise it just stops me. Uh, the bounce is there for Trevenant. It also does 20 to 30 percent, depending on his investment to Tapu Finny, which would be great. I did consider running Z bounce because it would do about twice as much almost to Tapu Finny, but it just really wasn't worth the damage. I really went with Dragonium Z. That way I could get off a of Z Outrage and not be locked into it. Uh, if I can set up Kingdra late game, I think I can win. That's the, kind of the plan there, but if Finny's still around, it's really not a viable strategy, and uh, I, I don't know. I need to need to find a different way to deal with with that. Is is the plan there? And this is the other way to deal with it. I have Dark MZ Thunderous with Agility, Superpower, uh, Thunderbolt, and Dark Pulse. The Superpower is there for uh, Absol. It's there for couple different things on his team, I think. I don't know. But either way, it doesn't really come into play um, because he doesn't bring the Absol or whatever else was weak to it that I was planning for. Thunderbolt uh, one-shots uh, Tornadus, and it will two-shot, possibly one-shot Finny, depending on his investment, and also if um, if there's any damage done to Finny. <laughs> if I can get some damage off on Finny, Thunderbolt should kill. Uh, Dark Pulse is there because it will uh, Oko, uh, Trevenant, or maybe Z Dark Pulse Oko's Trevenant. Uh, Z Dark Pulse could also Oko Raichu, um, and a regular Dark Pulse will ha has the potential to flinch, so that's why I brought that. I'm running Defiant, because if he brought Absol, Prankster wouldn't work on it, and I didn't want to you know, go for a Prankster Agility and then have him cancel that out with Absol somehow. I'm not sure exactly how that all works, but on Showdown it cancels it out if there's a Dark-type Pokemon in versus you. Um, whereas in the game, I hit Z Rain Dance versus him last time on Absol, and it worked, so I'm not really sure how all that goes. Maybe it's because it was a Z move, um, but that's the plan there. If I can't get Kingdra to work, then Thunderous should be able to work. I can set up with that, outspeed everything, even Scarf Tornadus, which I'm really expecting him to bring just for the Scarf Hurricanes. Um, then I can basically sweep through his team. That's the hope and dream. The next thing I have is Choice Scarf Heracross. If he doesn't have Scarf Tornadus, then this thing just sweeps through his team. I got Stone Edge. Stone Edge hits a lot of things. Um, it's It does a lot of damage. It, it'll Oko Tornadus if I can get in on it. If he's not Scarf Tornadus, I can Oko it, and um, he basically just has to switch into something. Bug Bite is there to get rid of any berries. I know he brought Yachi Berry on his Trevenant last time, and he had talked about bringing it on Gudra. Uh, last time as well, so I was kind of worried that his team was going to have some berries on it, and I wanted to be able to deal with them. Bug Bite also Oko's Absol, whereas uh, with Megahorn it also Oko's, but I'd have to risk the miss, and I didn't want to do that. Close Combat kills Raichu, um, might kill a few other things depending on their investment, and then I have Bullet Seed for Tapu Fenny. Really don't want to hit Bullet Seed if <laughs> if Gudra is still around because if I hit get those uh, because per hit. It gives Gudra a boost with its Sap Sipper, so I don't want to hit it if Gudra's in, basically. If Gudra's still alive, do not hit Bullet Seed. Uh, but that's that's Heracross, um, and then the last Pokemon is going to be Shaman with Rocky Helmet. Uh, I got Toxic, Psychic, Seed Flare, and Synthesis. Psychic, Oko's, um, Oko's Toxicroak. Seed Flare for damage and stab. It just hits pretty much everything except for Gudra. You know, I mean, it's not going to do a whole bunch to, like, Tornadus or Trevenant, for instance, but it'll still do some damage. Uh, and then I know he has Tapu Finny, but the way he plays Finny, I figured I could get a Toxic off, because he doesn't seem to play with the terrain in mind, basically. He plays he plays more like Tapu Finny uh, is a defensive Pokemon on its own, but he doesn't play like it was a weather condition, I guess I would say. So like when I play with Pelipper, the rain is a is something I watch. You know, I say I got five turns, eight turns of rain left. I bring in my rain sweepers during that time. If the rain's about to run out, I switch into a Pokemon that doesn't need the rain. And I kind of use it to my advantage. I don't think he uses it to his full advantage. Um, and, and that's what I've kind of noticed throughout the season. Uh, and I guess I've noticed that with a lot of train setters. They don't really use the um, the ability so much. They, you know, like maybe they take it a little bit for granted, you know, oh, I have Tapu Finny. You know, they're not going to bring Toxic versus me. So the plan is to basically synthesis up on Tapu Finny. Tapu Finny cannot kill 
this um, this shaman. It is it is built to be able to take hits um, from a few different things, and then uh, just synthesis up until the terrain is gone. And then I can hit toxic, maybe even on Tapu Fini. I can hit toxic on Gudra. So the plan is basically to just try to stall him out a little bit with that. I know it's kind of like. Uh, you know, maybe not the best, but I didn't really have a good way to deal with Gudra otherwise because I was pretty sure that if he didn't bring Yachi Berry on it, he would bring AV again, and that means Dazzling Gleam's not going to do much. That means Seed Flare's not going to do much. It's not going to do anything because he has Sap Zipper. Um, so really, my only option was to bring some kind of status condition and try to like wait out the terrain turns. And if he doesn't pick up that I'm doing that, then I'll be able to get off a big Toxic on him, which would be really amazing. Um, the Rocky Helmet is there just for a little bit of extra damage on, on Tornadus. I mean, I know he'll have Regenerator, but, you know, maybe um, maybe I can get a little bit off on Gudra or something, or whatever else might be a physical attacker on his team, Absol, Toxicroak. Um, so that's that's kind of the plan with the Rocky Helmet. I probably could have gone with a better uh, item there, but I wasn't really sure what to go with, and a little bit of extra damage never hurts, so that was kind of the plan. Let's go ahead and hop into the battle now, now that I've taken up 10 minutes of your time. Um, but here we go. This is the match. Um, so I'm going to lead off with Snorlax, like I said I was going to. That's kind of the plan there. He's going to lead off with Raichu, which I kind of expected him to do, either Raichu or Tornadus. And I'm going to predict the Volt Switch here, because he really can't do that much to me. If I am like a very bulky Snorlax on the special side, then Thunderbolt's not going to do anything to me, and then I've gotten off a huge body slam onto his Raichu, so he doesn't want that. He's going to go into Fortress here, or he's going to go into Finny. He actually goes into Fortress, though, and my plan is kind of working. Uh, so I'm going to go for that body slam. It's going to break his sturdy, and uh, the Rocky Helmet's going to go off, which is kind of unfortunate. I didn't like that, but now I can go for my Flamethrower, and here we find out that he ran speed this time. He outspeeds me which is kind of disappointing because I was really hoping to outspeed him and get off this big flamethrower before the rocks happened. This was a guaranteed Oko if he wasn't a specially defensive fortress just with the investment that I ran. Uh, so no way he was going to live that. He brings in his uh, Torn. I know he's probably just going to go for a U-turn here. I could have been scared of a superpower or whatever else, but I really didn't think he was going to go for it this early. Um, plus, if I curse up on him, superpower is not going to kill me. And I'll be at the point where I can basically just um, just uh, use my berry, or I can hit rest. Um, anyways, I go for a gunk shot, predicting him to go for the U-turn there and bring in Tapu Fenny. But he brings in this um, this Trevenant. I wasn't really expecting the Horn Leech. I should have. Um, so I went for another gunk shot, whereas I probably should have switched out if I had seen that coming. But I was thinking he might go for a Leech Seed there, or something like that. Um, but he stays in, and he uh, he takes another another gunk shot, and then he goes for a Horn Leech and takes out Snorlax. At that point, after taking the first Horn Leech, there's nothing Snorlax could do. I did I don't have rest. I don't have a berry to heal it. So Snorlax is pretty much useless, especially since he didn't bring Toxic or Absol. So I just let it go down. That way, nothing else has to take a lot of damage. Bring in Pelipper here uh, to set up the rain, and then also to go for a Hurricane. I figured he might want to save Trevenant, because it has a little bit of HP. It might be able to do something versus me if he saves it. Um, he can bring it out like uh, Shaman, for instance. Something like that. But uh, he opts to let it go down. Hurricane goes off. And with this, he doesn't notice that I am choiced in any way. Because I would always outspeed. And then uh, Specs, with or without Specs, I would always kill it. So... I'm able to uh, take it out without him realizing that I am Specs Pelipper. I bring in Shaman here. Uh, I know Shaman can take a Volt Switch, can take a Thunderbolt, take whatever Raichu wants to throw at us, uh, even an HP Ice. So I'm not too worried about that. He just does go for that Volt Switch. And he's going to bring in uh, Tornadus here, which is the, the big play. It, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and I, I don't really want to take a Hurricane here, so of course I'm going to switch out. Might should have called this and stayed in and taken the U-turn, but I go into... Um, I go to a Kingdra, you know, I figure it's the safest play. It can take a Hurricane, um, it can take, you know, a U-turn if that's what he goes for. But he goes for the Icy Wind. And um, that that kind of sucks that he goes for the Icy Wind. Um, because now it kind of forces me to hit um, Dragon Dance here. Because I don't want him to bring in something like Raichu to outspeed me and then kill me. So I go for the, uh, the Dragon Dance just to get back to neutral speed so I can outspeed that Raichu just in case. Um... Although I might have outsped Raichu anyway because we are in the rain. But that's not what I was thinking during the match. 
Um, so I go for the Dragon Dance. He sees that now. I have to switch out because I can't take a Moonblast. Um, and I really should have seen that coming. Should have gone for a bounce there. That would have been the uh, the better play, I think, just to get some damage off. Um, but I bring in Shaman to take this uh, this Moonblast. Takes it all right. I can probably live another one. Uh, so I'm just going to hit, uh, hit Synthesis here. And uh, he's going to switch, obviously, thinking I'm going to go for a Seed Flare. Uh, I kind of thought he'd go into Gudra here, though, uh, predicting the Seed Flare. But I just go for the Synthesis. And then, because the Rain is gone now, and because I switched out last time, I don't think he's going to go for a Hurricane here. So I just hit, um, hit Synthesis, predicting the U-Turn. That way I can get all my health back and be at full health. And that's exactly what he does. He goes for the U-Turn, and he's going to switch out. And uh, his best play is probably to go into... Um, and do his Gudra now. Um, you know, I, I, it's if it's AV, it can take any hit from me anyway. And if I go for that Seed Flare on the on the Tornadus, then uh, he'll get a boost. So just the best play for him. The terrain is up now, so I'm going to hit Synthesis here. Like I said, I'm trying to wait out the terrain, but he goes for the Dragon Tail. Kind of thought he'd have it, but I was also kind of hoping he wouldn't go for it. Um, he, he brings in Heracross here. And I really want to just go for the Bug Bite. I know it's not super effective against anything on his team, but I think he's going to switch out um, because the close combat could kill, but he stays in. Stays in and goes for Counter. And I had calc it, and I actually could have lived um, a hit from almost anything else from this Gudra. Uh, well, maybe not anything else, but I, I was calcing that I could live something, which is why I stayed in. This match happened like last week, so I don't fully remember everything. But I could have lived a hit, I was hoping. He goes for the counter. It was just caught me off guard so much. I go for the hurricane here, predicting a switch again. He stays in. Stays in, and he lives the hurricane. And he doesn't realize that I'm Specs either, because he's AV, and it's not going to do that much damage. So um, I guess that's okay that you know he might not realize that I'm Specs still, but... I mean, he could if he calc the damage, but it essentially didn't do that much, you know. It'd be hard to tell if I was just max special attack or whatever. I go for the Dark Pulse there because at this point, I just need to kill the Gudra. need to get out of there. He brings in um, the Raichu, and the Raichu will kill me with a Thunderbolt, so I kind of have to switch. I bring in Pelipper because I already showed Dragon Dance on Kingdra. It was the only thing I really had to sack off. I can go for the Dragon Dance on Kingdra and boost up anyway, so I don't really need the rain. And... I'll also get rid of the rain so that Shaman can freely synthesis on stuff again without having to worry about the rain, you know, making that 25%. So I get Art of Pelipper. He goes for the Volt Switch. Makes sense. Um, and I, I think I go for a Seed Flare here because Seed Flare will do a lot to anything that comes in. And it'll kill Tapu Fini, which I don't expect to come in. But it's my best play, I think. Um, and I was kind of hoping for the defense drop on this if it came in, but I didn't get it. Um, he just goes for the hurricane here. Makes sense for him uh, because that kills uh, Shaman. But I'm now able to bring in my Thunderous. And Thunderous, the rain is gone, and Thunderous can now Oko with Thunderbolt. Um, he, can, he can miss with his hurricane, and I'm pretty sure he's Scarf at this point. So I can either hit Thunderbolt or I can hit Agility. And if I hit Agility, I have the, chan the chance to win here. So I hit Agility, and then my Z Dark Pulse has a chance to kill this Raichu. If I kill this Raichu, I win the game, I think. So I go for it. I go for the Z Dark Pulse, just putting the game on the line right here, right now. Going for it. All right. If I hit Dark Pulse on the switch into Raichu, then I could kill it with uh, the Z Dark Pulse. Anyway, guaranteed. But I wanted to go for the Agility. That way he couldn't just bring in Tornadus and scare me out instantly. So, uh, anyways, go for it, and uh, yeah, we'll see what the damage is. But he lives. <laughs> he lives, and he gets off the Thunderbolt. So, depending on his set, he was able to live that. I was really hoping he wasn't, you know, a little bit invested into HP or special defense there, but I guess he was a little bit to some extent. And he lives the uh, the dark the Z Dark Pulse, which basically means I lose the match. All I have left is Kingdra, um, and I basically got I just go for bounce. Bounce is my. Uh, my fun play. I could have gone for a Dragon Dance there and maybe taken out the differential a little bit more um, if he had brought in like Tornadus and I was able to kill it, but otherwise he'd just bring in Finny and I'd have to go for Bounce anyway, so just a fun play to go for Bounce there. Now he brings in uh, Tornadus, hits whatever, and kills me. Um, and that's the game. 
Uh, unfortunately, that's the way it turned out. It wasn't the um, wasn't the best ending of all time, unfortunately. But I did have a lot of fun sets. It was a really fun match, and uh, I felt like it was competitive throughout. There were a few mistakes that I made that I, I'm not very happy with, um, but overall, I thought the match was pretty good. Uh, and the mistakes were that uh, I went for the bug bite with Heracross, and I let Snorlax take a Horn Leech, and I showed off the Gunk Shot early. I kind of wish I had saved that for Finny. What else? Um, I set up the rain way too early with Pelipper, which really made me scared of the Tornadus. I should have saved Pelipper for towards the end of the match, that way I could catch him off guard with the Choice Specs Hurricanes. Um, so just a few things I think I could improve on there, but a lot of fun. Uh, go check out Papa C. His links will be down below in the description. His match is already live, um, and it's you know it's it's uh, it's a nice take on the battle since it's uh, it's a live com. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will be coming back in a week or two uh, for this other league that I'm joining. I haven't made an announcement or anything yet, but uh, there will be one soon. So be on the lookout for that. Anyways, guys, peace out, and I'll see you guys then.